Hallelujah. The Lord is so good and his mercies endure forever. And what is forever? His mercies endure forever. Forever is forever. He, endure, he does not endure uh, your problems after two weeks, then he gives up on you. He does not endure your issues after, uh, let's say, that relationship that is uh, hectic and chaotic. And then after two years, he gives up on you. No, 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 no. They are still masses to bring you up and about. To bring you up and about. To bring you up and out. Let me say it like that. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. So today, I want to share with you in the book of Genesis. Eh? Now, Genesis <laughs> is not the thing of old. Eh? His word lives. You, you understand? His masses, which is really also his word, eh? endures forever. Hallelujah. So Genesis 3, uh, 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 Genesis 3, verse 9. I'll start from verse 9. I'm talking to you, child of God, but also you, who is really an unbeliever. After this, you'll be able to know where you are and where you should be in the name of Jesus. So he says that, um, but the Lord God called to man, which is you now, whether man or woman, you, 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 you. He says, where are you? <laughs> where are you? So the Lord is being so, 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 so emphatic about this. Eh? He says, where are you? The Lord called unto man. Where are you? So by the time he does that, don't think that he was not seeing him in the physical. He was actually, because he's God. He's all seeing. He sees everything everywhere. But you see, he's calling man to a place. He's actually asking man. He's, he's actually really asking you. You, you, you as a child of God, especially. He's saying, where are you? Because he left you somewhere, and then all of a sudden he comes to check on you. Can you imagine he comes to give you a hug? Eh? <laughs> or maybe to even bless you. Meaning that concerning the revelation of God, you had descended, which we call now the fall. Hmm? There are many doctrines that have been actually put around, around that story. Oh, he ate an apple. Oh, he had what? He had all these things. You see, eh? he says, where are you? Because in the very beginning, still in the, in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, he says that, and the Lord God gave man dominion. He gave you dominion over anything, money inclusive, as a child of God. You know, health. Can you imagine? <laughs> you have actually that dominion over all these things, you child of God. So he's really asking you, meaning that he had, you know, left you at a place, in a place of dominion, and then all of a sudden he comes and then he doesn't actually find you. So he's really asking you, where are you? <laughs> Revelationally, where are you? Concerning your health. Are you going to be devastated as ah, hey, this is a family disease? No, that's not it. Eh? For me, I'm poor. What? That's not it. Hmm? <laughs> because actually, he gave you all these riches. Eh? Now, where are you in all this? And there is no doctrine around that. This is the word of God. Hmm? <laughs> these are not really my own words. Eh? So he says, Where are you? Where are you concerning that job? Are you going to, you know, to relegate yourself and say, uh, you know, they disturb me a lot at what? You have dominion. Eh? You have dominion over all these things. Where are you? And then he says, when he says, where are you? When he asks you where, where you are, uh, about where you are, you know, you start giving excuses. You see this and that and that. And then a lot of children of God eh, want to play safe. Eh? They want to play safe, you know, this one. Eh, what? Especially you, man of God, who has the anointing. Where are you? Are you going to actually give excuses of the sheep? What? This? You know, they talked ill about me. Where are you? Eh? Where are you really? Are you going to stop the ministry because you are being talked about? Oh, you know, you know, you know we have some people who are funny. Yeah? Just a mere insult. This one talked ill about me. <laughs> you say what? I can't even go there. <laughs> some people actually have even left churches, wonderful places of worship, because they were talked ill about. Yeah. Is that actually where the Lord left you? Is that how actually you should deal with these outs? Do you remember when the Lord was really crucified on the cross? Eh? Let me bring this to your attention. Eh? You know, they cover him uh, because of PG. Hmm? But actually that man was nailed on the cross without any cloth. So you can never be more shameful 
than what Jesus went through. No man can ever insult you more than what they did to Jesus. So there's no excuses. There are no excuses about this. So where are you really? In all these things. Now the politician. <laughs> you see? Are you going to relegate? No, you see what? Where are you? You know, I won't go deep in that. Eh? So where are you? So uh, lastly, as I, as I end, then he said, oh, you gave excuses and all that. So he says, uh, so, uh, the, you know, he says, I had you in the garden. Eh? Can you imagine it? Eh? <laughs> and I was afraid because I was naked. You see? Now, nakedness means that, you know, you are stripped off about, you know, of, of, of you know, certain things. Let's say you are stripped off of, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, how you've been looking at yourself and all that, stripped off. So you, you feel, you know, you know, the revelation of God is not the driving factor. So you, 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 you now start to think about other things. So you are stripped off of that, of that great thing. You see? Eh? So then lastly it says, verse 11, say that, and he said, who told you? Who told you that you are going to die tomorrow? You see, in my family, around November, there are some person dies. Who said that? Is that a voice coming from on high or from hell? Are these, you know, superstitions that you've actually created around yourself? So now, uh, around November, there, <laughs> you start, to, yeah, you eat, someone is going to what? No, the Lord gives life. The Lord is for life. And right away, right away, right now, yes. I want to pray for a person who was really wandering. The grace of God wandering, you know, to mean walking around in devastated conditions and situations. He says, who told you those things? Who told you those things? It's not the Lord. And by the time he's really asking you of who told you, about who told you, it simply means that it didn't come from him. It came from somewhere else. Friends and what? Even families can actually have some, you know, uh, nonsense going on. Eh? You understand? This is a family disease around this what? No man actually, you know, goes around uh, 40 years be beyond what? Who told you those things? Eh? Who really told you? Eh? Kwanzaa, where are you? Mm -hmm. Where are you? You see? And then finally says, but who told you? So no, what? Do you know? Who told you? Who told you? In my language it says, Aniya <laughs> Kugamba. <laughs> Who told you and where are you? And where are you? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, those who are lost are right now found. Those who are lost are now found. Father, you embrace them. You bring them in your embrace, Jesus. And you sh are showing them all your mercies. Thank you, Jesus, because your mercies and love and you are forever. And Father, you said that you never leave them nor forsake them. And Father, right now, we call them unto your very bosom so that they can see your light. They can see the mighty wonders, miracles, signs and wonders concerning their health, marriages, relationships, jobs, and all that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, help us to cling to your revelation, not from out there, not from revelations from out there, from a foreign man, in the name of Jesus. Now, right now, I want to lead you unto, unto Christ, into his embrace. The Lord is not accusing you. The Lord, the Lord is not accusing you. The Lord is not accusing you. In fact, he has actually forgotten even your sins in the name of Jesus. And forever, 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 amen. In the name of Jesus. Receive salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amen.